Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to see PCA9685 module with STM32 with multiple servers. Let's get started with this. The module I'm using is here. Uh, it has a power supply of 5 volt. We can supply separate power supply. It got pins uh, SCL and SDA for the I2C. There are 16 outlets. 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 15. We're going to use uh, six of them. Uh, the address is uh, 40 or STM32 is X, hex 80. There are pads here. If you join these pads, the I2C address will be different. The other side is like this. The wiring connection is here. VCC to 3.3 volt, ground to ground, and SCL to B6, SDA to B7. And uh, we supply 5 volt separate supply to uh, plus and ground. Uh, there are pins, outlets, 0 to 15. We use uh, these pins, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7 and 5. Uh, these are the pads to change the I2C address. The wiring connection is here. This one goes to the module and it's connected to several motors. Now I have opened the cube ID. If anybody doesn't know how to install cube ID, I have made a separate video. It's available here. Let's click file, new STM32 project. For the commercial part number, we put F103C8. Select this one. Next. And for the project name, I give multi. system core this for the debug select uh, serial wire and uh, I connectivity i2c1 i2c i2c and that's all the setting we can click save uh, for simplicity I have given the code in my website the link is in the description below is the one and in the user code 0 we copy from here until user code n0 we copy all of them and uh, we paste in the same same place that's here we paste it and user code 2 we copy this line paste it here in the while loop we copy from here until here we paste it here that's all we can save um, let's go through in the user code begin this is the uh, i2c address um, there are some uh, Marco values from the data sheet. The set bit is uh, setting one bit. So we read one byte, eight bits, and then we set the whatever the bit we wanted, and we write it back. Uh, setting the frequency, uh, it work. It can work from 24 hertz to 1526 hertz. So that's the minimum and maximum. The oscillator has 25 megahertz. We divide by the frequency and we set the corresponding bit. Um, the initialization, we set the frequency and we set the auto increment true. And this is the way of setting the PWM. That's the um, delay time and then the pulse width time. And uh, we have four bytes and we write there. Um, servo angle uh, this is the way uh, 50 hertz has filled 20 milli 20 millisecond width uh, that's uh, belong to 4095 so the least value is 0 degrees 0.5 millisecond uh, 180 degrees 2.5 millisecond we calculate in this way um, in the you support begin we initialize with the 50 hertz and 
we have six server attached to 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 and 15 pin and we set the angle. Now we can upload the code clicking this button. If your board has clone chip, I have given in the description how to upload the code. You can refer to this one. Okay. Yeah, it's uploaded. I have uploaded the code. It is working. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.